Hello, and welcome to Esther's Gardening Adventures. I'm Esther. As you can tell, I just came in from outside. <laughs> My face always gets bright red. Um, Today I'm going to talk about my game plan for composting. If you'll check out my video that I posted the end of last year, you'll see I did a pretty good job composting, um, although I didn't generate as much as I expected. And I've learned since then that really you can create compost, but you're not going to generate enough for your whole garden, and that's fine. Making sure that the food, that uh, the vegetables and also the stuff, the weeds and other things actually go to use to putting value back into our and to our food and our beds, you know, it's important to me. So I'm happy about that. But last year I had a trouble keeping up with it. And one big part of it, I think, was the location that I kept the compost in. And so uh, as well as the size of the compost bin, um, which is this huge uh, recycled plastic tube that you set on top of the ground. And it's basically pick your own size. It has a bunch of slats, you'll see, and you can make it as big or as small as you want. And last year I made it almost as big as possible. This year, I'm making it almost as small as possible, um, pretty close to cutting down the, the width of the, of the uh, container in half in hopes that it'll um, not only, um, you know, the, the fact that it's, that it's building up will help it generate heat potentially, and also um, it'll be easier to flip than to have it all spread out. I can just take the tube off, flip it, anyway, conceptually, it's better and you know we're always adjusting as we learn so let's go outside side and see where I've put the new compost bin, or the where I've moved the compost bin and kind of I'll show you the locations of where it was before here's what I've done it used to be that I had and if you saw my video on composting I had you can see in fact a cardboard egg crate over there uh, and there's still some compost there I need to to dig up not dig up, but to uh, scrape together and put on my beds, as well as that's where my sitting bench is. My step stool, ha <laughs> ha, I have found you. All right, well, so that wasn't for a complete loss, but you can see I had to come all the way around the house and um, because this side of the garden bed, this fence locks from the inside. So if I'm gardening in the front yard, I have to go around that side of the house and bring it all the way around here. And just really, while having it far from the door so that pests and stuff weren't drawn into the house was a good idea, it just really wasn't conducive to me regularly adding stuff to the container. So instead, I have moved my compost bin over here. And it's great because I can come straight out the door walk over, dump it in from the porch or the deck or whatever you want to call this. The second thing I'm doing different is I'm making this much smaller. You can see here that I've almost doubled this down. It's almost completely all the way around. The only space where we don't have it double layered is here. And before, when I bought the compost bin, and this is a really nice bin, but when I bought this thing, Basically, I had it full size. Um, I think that having it accumulate in a smaller barrel size will help it compost faster. And also to me, I think it'll make me feel more accomplished to see it filling up. Because I tell you, last year, it didn't get more than maybe the second notch high, maybe third notch high there. Um, and it just, it just didn't feel like I was really composting. So... Here it is. I moved it over here. You can see this is, oh, it's about 10 a.m. Now, granted, the trees have not put in their leaves. Still, I think it'll get a decent amount of morning sun, so it'll get some heat. It's far enough from the door that um, it hopefully won't draw any flies or anything into the house. Um, and so I feel like this is probably a good, I may move it again next year, but I feel like this is probably a good new location for it. So uh, I have some, I had stacked on a chair. I have some garden stuff that I had when I cleaned out the garden uh, that I need to put in there. And then I also have a little bit of compost that I've been saving in the kitchen that I'm gonna put in here and uh, let's get it going.
there's two additional steps that I still need to take. And one of them is I have a compost starter mix that I sprinkle on every time I have a big layer uh, that I put into the bin. I did this last year and it really helped. And the other thing is I need to wet it down. I think adding water really helps the process work, or at least that's what I've heard, and it worked well for me last year. So let's make that happen. All right. Ooh, I forgot I had earthworm castings left. Sweet. So I'm just taking a handful and sprinkling it down. That's all it really needs for a size this small. All right, let's get this going. Making sure I get everything nice and soaked down in here. Making sure that compost starter stuff gets a good, good dose as well. Oh yeah. All right, there we have it. Our compost is off to a start. Yay! Let the composting begin. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you aren't already a subscriber, please consider doing so. And make sure you have that bell button hit so you get alerted when I post new content. And otherwise, I'll see you next time.